Do not avoid fat food if you want to lose weight. Would all of our weight loss problems be solved if we just eliminated fat from our diets? Unfortunately, it's not that simple. We actually need fats and we can't live without them, in fact. Fats are an important part of a healthy diet they provide essential fatty acids, keep our skin soft, deliver fat-soluble vitamins, and are a great source of energizing fuel. But it's easy to get confused about good fats versus bad fats, how much fat we should eat, how to avoid artery-clogging trans fats, and the role omega-3 fatty acids play in heart health. For years, fat was a four-letter word. We were urged to banish it from our diets whenever possible. We switched to low-fat foods. But the shift didn't make us healthier, probably because we cut back on healthy fats as well as harmful ones. You may wonder, isn't fat bad for you? But your body needs some fat from food. It's a major source of energy. It helps you absorb some vitamins and minerals. Fat is needed to build cell membranes, the vital exterior of each cell, and the sheaths surrounding nerves. It is essential for blood clotting, muscle movement, and inflammation. For long-term health, some fats are better than others. Good fats include monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. Bad ones include industrial-made trans fats. Saturated fats fall somewhere in the middle. The foods you eat can have a major effect on your weight. Some foods, like full-fat yogurt, coconut oil, avocado, and eggs, help with weight loss. Other foods, especially processed and refined products, can make you gain weight. Then, does dietary fat make you fat? You might assume that fat is to blame for the obesity. Actually, fat is only part of the problem. Obesity is much more complicated than just overeating a single nutrient. Eating more calories from fats, carbohydrates, protein, and alcohol than you burn off leads to weight gain. Simply, people who get little physical activity and eat a diet high in calories are going to gain weight. Dietary fat plays a significant role in obesity. Fat is calorie-dense at 9 calories per gram while carbs and protein have only 4 calories per gram and alcohol has 7 calories per gram. It's easy to overeat fats because they lurk in so many foods we love, french fries, processed foods, cakes, cookies, chocolate, ice cream, thick steaks, and cheese. Let's understand now the difference between good fats and bad fats. Basically, there are two groups of fats, saturated and unsaturated. Within each group are several more types of fats. Let's start with the good guys the unsaturated fats, which include polyunsaturated fatty acids and monounsaturated fats. Both mono and polyunsaturated fats, when eaten in moderation and used to replace saturated or trans fats, can help lower cholesterol levels and reduce your risk of heart disease. Polyunsaturated fats, found mostly in vegetable oils, help lower both blood cholesterol levels and triglyceride levels, especially when you substitute them for saturated fats. One type of polyunsaturated fat is omega-3 fatty acids, whose potential heart health benefits have gotten a lot of attention. Omega-3 are found in fatty fish, salmon, trout, catfish, mackerel, as well as flaxseed and walnuts. It is best to get your omega-3 from food, not supplements. How fats fit into your healthy diet? Choosing the right types of dietary fats to consume is one of the most important factors in reducing the risk of developing heart disease. But while choosing healthier fats is better for your heart, when it comes to your waistline, all fats have about the same number of calories. And cutting the total fat in your diet not only helps you shed pounds, it can also help you live longer and healthier. There is a strong association between being overweight and many types of cancer, especially breast cancer among postmenopausal women and colon cancer. Eating less total fat will not directly lower your cancer risk, but it will help you control your weight, which in turn can reduce your risk of cancer. Thanks for watching. If you liked, please share and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos.